I'm Ellen, and I'm a retired school teacher. I am a hoarder with a capital H. On a bad day, I sit in my everything room, and I feel it closing on me, and I feel that it's suffocating. I'm Mark, and Ellen is my mother. The everything room is her bedroom, living room, dining room. She eats there, sleeps, and watches TV. I'm Doug, and Ellen's my mother. I live in the basement. 99% of the time, I stay downstairs. Because going upstairs is like an obstacle course. There's piles of clothes, piles of boxes. It's just depressing. She buys things from thrift stores. She's fascinated with butterflies and orders things online. I'm Scott, and Ellen is my mom. We tried to clean up, and every time that we've tried to clean up, it's just always been, oh, no, you can't throw that out. No, 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 not that. Oh, well, this one, no, 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 I need this for that. It's a lot of tension. I feel helpless because there's nothing I can do without leading to an argument. My oldest is say, Ma, hey, just keep commandeering the refrigerator. She has a refrigerator that's upstairs that's full. So my mother brings stuff downstairs to my refrigerator, and it is a constant battle for her to take it upstairs. It's frustrating because she impedes on my space. Makes me sad to see what's happened to my mom because this is not the house that we grew up in. The shoplifting has been a problem, and I continue to struggle with it, and I know that it doesn't make the situation any better, and it is part of, of, of being obsessive-compulsive and not being able to control it. I just try to get into a position where no one can see this is slipping into my pocket. I would say 20% of the things are things that I shoplifted. When I go shopping, I thought that uh, this kind of bag is my bad bag. Taking a big bag is definitely going to be more motivation to say, oh, I can take something. Maybe I have the paper and then I just... So I don't go out like I used to with the big bag. If I take a smaller bag, then I'll be like, I'm making that conscious effort not to continue the pattern of shoplifting. The last time I used the big bag was at least two weeks ago. I feel like it's, it's something I definitely can't help because if I could help, I wouldn't do it. It is a compulsive disorder that contributes to the hoarding situation. If I don't clean up the house, I would jeopardize my homeowner's insurance, and then I would lose my mortgage. I could lose my house. It's coming to a boiling point where there's something has to be done. I believe it's a do or die situation for my mom. I know that it's a better way, and I know that I deserve better, and I know my family deserves better. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Corey Chalmers, an extreme cleaner specializing in biohazard and hoarding. Ellen, one of the first things we need to address is we need a staging area. Okay. But to do that, we got to go through this stuff first. Are you all ready to do this? Yes. yes. Yeah. This is such a small property that we need somewhere to move, somewhere to breathe. So if we can clear off this back patio, that'll work perfectly as a place we can bring everything out and start to sort through it. The plant should stay. Okay. The plant stays? Yes. The, the planter stays? Yes. From the beginning, Ellen began to struggle. She started with the plants and didn't want to let any go. I see something. I am not getting rid of all my plants. Things are going pretty slow for the first day. Leave it, leave it, leave it. She's having to look at everything, talk about it, think about it. I never said for that to go. It just went. 
hopefully we can talk to her and, and really start to multiply our efforts and get moving because at this point we're never gonna get done this still works Ma, look at this. This shouldn't even be back here. I already know that. But I... you don't even know what it is. Ooh. Yes, it's pictures. These are no... That's why I wanted you to have to go through things. Calm, calm. But I knew calm this. Calm down. Those pictures are sentimental. And that's all I have to, to hold on. Family is digging up a bunch of memories as they're going through the stuff, including the death of Ellen's husband. Doug became very emotional. I don't put no more than what we can bear. Remember that, okay? It's now coming to the reality of how serious her hoarding disorder is and the reality that if she doesn't get treatment now, she's not likely going to be successful. Things are coming up. Buried secrets that are contributing to Ellen's hoarding behavior. One of which is she revealed to me on the very first day that she has a problem with stealing. Basically, she has no financial problems to speak of. The stuff that she was taking was very minimally priced items. I told the family that Ellen is a kleptomaniac and the family was completely blindsided. How long has this been going on, you said? That I don't know. So I've been sort of holding off to talk to you guys and then I think we should all go and talk to her together. No, I'm, I can't do it. What's, what's going on? There's never been a time that there wasn't a meal on that table and we didn't have clean clothes. That's, that's I, true. I don't get that it. is the truth. I don't get it. That's the problem. She's I don't get it. Because she, she tried to provide. To. It's, right. a, it's, a, it's right. a disease, it's a sickness. It's, right. it's a process. It's not that easy, Scott. I am, dude, I get it. I get that it's not that easy. But you can't ask for help and then decide on which help you're going to receive. So now you're going to choose what help you want? The hell we got all these boxes out here for? But she's asking for help. Yeah, I need a timeout. She... I need a timeout. OK, you got it. She wanted this. She wanted this. My nephew, Scott, he is absolutely right. You don't pick and choose. You want us to clean out? I understand that. And we will help you do that. But I did not realize our sickness was that bad. When I first met you, you were very open with me. And you shared that you have some other issues going on. Yes, the shoplifting. No one else knew about it. What is fueling that? Why has it continued up until two weeks ago? You're as sick as your own secrets. I'm aware of that. It was something I did from the time I was in elementary school, but I continued on. And I know it took a lot for you to come out and admit to something like that. Um, well, we just want to see you get help. Whatever she needs me to do, I'm going to do it. The family reacted in a very supportive manner. They basically said, we're glad we know about this, but at the end of the day, you're our mom and we will do anything we can to support you. All right, ready to get back to work? All right. Okay. After the meeting with Dr. Zazio, the pace started picking up. We got a lot done in a short period of time. Oh. <laughs> when you see Ellen go in and she just starts crying, those tears of joy, like that's what we do this for. And I knew this was coming, just needed to get her this point. And their family was so happy. I think this house would be perfect for them to start over in. <laughs> wow. 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 Speechless. Just, just really, really speechless. Really didn't think it was possible. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> 
gonna be a struggle, but it's the happiest I've been and it's long overdue. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.